let's talk about digital transformation now. Uh, so as we understand, digital transformation has many aspects, customer interaction, operational efficiency, innovation, using big data. So a lot of things companies can do as part of digital transformation. And there are so many technologies out there which can enable this, this transformation, and namely AI, cloud, IoT, and so on, right? So it's overwhelming for companies as they think about digital transformation. Would you recommend any phased approach for companies to think as they plan digital transformation? Simple answer is, Blow everything up and start from scratch. Mm -hmm. No, obviously that's not something <laughs> that everyone everyone can do. Mm -hmm. But you know, you do ask the, the the most important question, which is, you know, every company knows, or at mm -hmm. least every serious, thoughtful manager knows, that you know they're here and they need to be there. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't think there's any mystery as to yeah. kind of where you need to get to. Yeah. The only problem is how do you get there? Mm -hmm. Right, and so it's the it's not the the digital endpoint that's the in dispute. It's the transformation piece. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, of course, there's going to have to be some kind of phased transition. There's going to have to be some steps. Mm -hmm. The big question is, how do you do that? So, some organizations have mm -hmm. said, particularly financial institutions, right? Particularly highly regulated mm -hmm. financial institutions, you know they they don't they don't see mm -hmm. a way to just close down at 9 p.m. and wake up at 5 a.m. all completely digital. Yeah. Especially if they have regulations that prevent them from mm. putting their uh, transaction data mm -hmm. in, in a public cloud, right? Yeah. So, so what they do is they say, what, what areas or activities are we engaged in mm -hmm. that, that, that could you know, migrate to the cloud? Mm -hmm. Like you know, marketing, yeah. right? Uh, promotions, mm -hmm. um, like HR, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, like yeah. um, s s sort of quote supply chain yeah. type stuff. Yeah. You know, risk modeling, right? Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that that you can start start migrating. And mm -hmm. so, you know, you might just start with your your marketing group and say, okay, here, you know, marketing group, mm -hmm. start start going this way. And and we saw that with a lot of companies where mm -hmm. the chief marketing officers would just kind of go off, create their own shadow IT, and 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 then they would just start taking over more and more and more, right? And, and ultimately, the, mm. the CIO gets, gets replaced, <laughs> whatever, right? Yeah. It gets, gets overthrown. So, you know, that's, that's, that's one approach. Um, but, but I do think that if a CEO kind of lets a thousand flowers bloom and kind of, kind of lets everybody do their own thing, th there's going to be a lot of wasted resources. Mm -hmm. And so you have to, at the very least, say that every new project, every new initiative, mm -hmm has to be done in a way that is not going to create this huge debt mm -hmm. going forward. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Do things in a way, even if it requires a little bit more upfront investing, mm -hmm. do it in such a way that you'll be able to make better use of it downstream. So, mm -hmm. you know, Jeff Bezos made that famous pronouncement back in mm -hmm. 2003 to, to all of his developers and to everybody in the organization. Mm -hmm. Right? And that was pretty... Brutal, right? Yeah. You know, starting tomorrow, everybody's got to do this. Yeah, and and I think that you know, if you can do that, mm -hmm. right? And 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 he could because he had the support of his investors, yeah. right? You know, because he was scaling and growing really mm -hmm. rapidly. Then, you know, you, 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 if you can do that, then you, you need to do that, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that financial institutions, not only can they generally not do that, mm -hmm. but also they don't have to do that. Because as regulated entities, if they're regulated, mm -hmm. and I'm not talking about fintech startups. I'm talking yeah. about like legacy mm -hmm. regulated financial institutions. Yeah, they they also have like a little bit of a buffer and a cushion mm -hmm. that 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 gives them a little bit of time mm -hmm. that where they can you know do this in a more systematic way.